We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. Good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we're converting this abandoned stone barn into a beautiful off-grid tiny home and just like we're building our own home we're also keen to build a good health and with the help of Athletic Greens they make it super simple to do just that. One scoop of AG1 mixed with 8 ounces of water supplies you with 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics and adaptogens. So I'm currently standing in our kitchen and it isn't even built yet but the ease of AG1 means that we don't have to store copious amounts of raw ingredients and multivitamins to achieve the beneficial amount of vitamins, minerals and probiotics found in each AG1. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, paleo, keto, low calorie and less than one gram of sugar per serving. And thanks to Athletic Greens who have kindly sponsored today's video. They're offering our wonderful community an immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you need to do is click the link in our description or head to athleticgreens.com forward slash the indie projects. I really hope that you enjoy it as much as me and Theo do. We've got a couple hours left in the day so what I thought I'd do is start thinking about our sladder <laughs> that we want that we can get to the mezzanine so you can see down here we just dug out all of our old chestnut not all of it but some of the roof beams that we used and they're really nice it's such beautiful wood really sturdy hard chestnut and then we have a bit of Douglas fir that was left over from the bed frame build. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Douglas fir as a template to build the ladder and to make all the notches, to make sure the angles are correct, and then I can transfer them on to the nice chestnut that is in demand. We've only got a little bit of this left. Those are the only ones we have like that. Exactly, right? but it's Sweet. such beautiful wood. You can see here, I mean, just look at that. It needs sanding back, but you can just see how nice this would look is in the barn. So we've come inside and we are now using this horrible metal ladder <laughs> that was from some like old scaffold that we got from when we first moved onto the property in what, 2017, 18. 2018. So it served its purpose and now it's gonna be our guide so that we can figure out the angle that we want to have for our finished ladder. We don't want it too steep, but we also don't want it too shallow and encroaching too much onto our space because we are in a tiny home. We want it to be a cross between a ladder and a staircase because ladders have horrible rungs to walk up. Staircases are much more comfortable, but we don't want a huge staircase taking up all of the space. So we're gonna be replacing the rungs with nice flat bits to tread on. And then the rest of it will just basically look like a ladder and blend in with the rest of the room. So it's really important to us because this is a tiny space 
to make sure everything flows really nicely but also make it feel bigger than it actually is so that was part of the reasoning on why we plastered three of the walls and painted them white is because it reflects the light around it feels bigger it feels more airy and things like the ladder we don't want the ladder to block this living area we've got the door with a big window where it's got beautiful views looking out which we still want to look through and actually having the ladder in the middle won't affect that whatsoever and the reason we're going for a sladder type ladder like a cross between a ladder and a staircase is because you can see through it we could have gone for like a tiny home style staircase where they build them out of um, like blocks so that you have more storage in there but the problem is that would have really separated this area made it feel smaller than it actually is and also we wouldn't have been able to see through really nicely Designing a tiny house takes a lot more forethought than designing a normal sized house because you've got everything in one room essentially so a lot of the things in the space have more than one use and that's what we really needed to think about when we were designing the living area, the bedroom area, the kitchen, this little area that now is going to be multifunctional. <laughs> We've got a tiny pool table that goes in here and there's probably going to be other things happening in this space so it's really important to make sure that everything flows well. So this ladder is actually pretty perfect. The size of it is going to turn out I think pretty much the same as what we're going to build and now I just need to kind of figure out what angle we want and we can just kind of put it at different angles, walk up and down it walk around it and see if we've got enough space to walk around make sure it doesn't get in the way because it is going to be fixed in place but I think about there is good I think if, if it's not encroaching on the wood burner exactly it's all about being able to kind of like go around here to the sofa get up and not feel like this is like in the way yeah because this will be like our big open space area all of this and is just going to be completely open a massive mattress in the way <laughs> <laughs> but then we're going to have the kitchen behind that but the kitchen only comes out probably like 60 centimeters yeah the kitchen's literally the appliances that we've brought in behind there are where they're going to be so this is actually the floor space that we'll have so i mean i like that angle it's good you and if you want kind of you can walk around here if you need to this will Isn't probably that come like out a little bit really more. bad luck to walk under a ladder yeah don't walk under the ladder <laughs> do not i just did i'm gonna walk back <laughs> and walk back. do you want to see how it feels to climb it i'm gonna measure it looks good oh, 250 yeah, perfect and how are you going to try and figure out the angle from there? Do I need to know to up do to that? do that uh, for sure. Okay. Let's go. Let's cut. Get let's go turn. out. Cut piece of uh, Douglas fir down to two fifty, and then we can play with that. just cut out the first angle which will be the same top and bottom I think it worked out at 20 degrees which is quite a good incline I'd say a little bit less steep than there and it doesn't encroach too much on the space in the room which is good and Theo's just now figuring out the bird's mouth because we want it to latch over onto the actual mezzanine so once that's done we can really see how this is actually going to look and we'll have our template all done
a good workout. I'm currently cutting the world's biggest bird's mouth. But it's going well, but I'm going to use this tiny little saw that I found in our shed because all my saws are blunt. I don't have a handheld circular saw that can go through this big timber. So I'm having to do it by hand, but that's fine. I'm getting there, slow progress, but I'm excited to see if it works. Yeah, well done. So there we have it. The Ooh, bird's mouth. That is massive. Really it's huge. <laughs> it's the biggest. I mean, what kind of bird is that? Like a <laughs> pelican. But we're going to take it inside now and see if it actually works. It's the moment of truth. Will the bird's mouth fit? Nice. That sounded good. <laughs> it's a little bit rough because obviously I cut it with a miniature handsaw that was blunt but that will be resolved tomorrow when I get to go to the store and buy a new saw and then we can do the actual pieces because this is just like a a mock-up a, a prototype, a prototype. <laughs> the next one will be with the proper chestnut and it's going to be such a sturdy fit it means that I'll have confidence every time I'm running up and down these stairs. arrived in Lisbon and I'm not gonna tell you why we're here I want you to guess I mean I'm pretty sure I heard you said earlier on <laughs> did you in the video that well, we're getting a I kitchen. can't oh <laughs> well you've just said it anyway we've come to Lisbon to find a kitchen this is an exciting day I found one that I like online but obviously you need to see it in real life see what the textures like the material the color whether it really is as nice online as it is in real life so I'm hoping that it will exceed my expectations and, and we're we nearly go home there. With the kitchen. Yeah, and that we go home with the kitchen today. So we have just made it to IKEA. I'm excited to look around and hopefully find our future kitchen. But first, we're gonna grab some food. So we've only just arrived at IKEA and we've already met a couple of different subscribers so thank you to you guys for coming to speak to us it was really nice to meet you and I've gone for a little bit of a feast because it's important to power yourself through an IKEA trip I got the staple the dime cake I got the fries I got the mashed potato I got the veggie balls with the curry sauce and then we've got a whole load of broccoli so I'm going to be powered through, ready to find our kitchen of our dreams. This is the only 
piece that we could find that is all the cabinets that we actually want for our kitchen but it's the colour that we really wanted to see it's like an off-white isn't it yeah it's not quite it's not cream that'd be a bit too yellow but this is like an off-white and we're thinking this will make a really nice space for the kitchen and not be too dark because that's what we were worried about because we were thinking about going for like a grey but I think that would really just suck all the colour out of that end of the room so I really like this and they've actually done it with the handles that I was thinking of as well which is pretty good and I did check online and they have all of it in stock so fingers crossed we can actually get it today we just need to find a work surface now so here's the cabinets in grey and they look really nice in this environment but I think in the barn it'll be better to go with the off-white it goes much more with the style we're going for and this is the sink we're gonna have it's really nice it's kind of like a Belfast sink a really big area so that you can wash the dishes <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah it sticks out a little bit there which I really like it's just really lovely I never really thought that I was someone who cared too much about appearances but it turns out I do especially when I'm choosing my tack I like the idea of like this that comes off and I can't get it <laughs> there we go you see this but I hate the mixture of the matte and the shine it just doesn't work for me it's a very nice tap but unfortunately it isn't what I was planning on so this one which is completely matte is much better and I think we're gonna go for this actually do you like this one I like it yeah it's nice it's not bad I like the little uh, the handles as well We have just made it to the warehouse section which means only one thing we need to hunt out all of the kitchen stuff we actually found a few cool items that we weren't even going to buy or we didn't even know about but we just saw them there and we had to get them things like a really cool lamp that we'll show you when we get back to the property So we just finished paying for the items that we picked off the shelf but the kitchen stuff there's so many different items for the kitchen that makes up the kitchen that you're not allowed to pick it yourself because you'd be here there and everywhere around the warehouse so they pick that for you and now we're going to that area to wait for them to pick it and they should present us with a trolley full of our kitchen So this right here is the sum of our kitchen minus the worktop because we couldn't actually find one that we liked here today so it's incredibly heavy <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought this much stuff in one go from Ikea and obviously we've got that so this is going to be interesting fitting it all in the car it's going to be like a game of Tetris Park, we reverse park so Theo's just gonna turn the car around so we can get all of this stuff in it will fit it's a lot of stuff I don't fit though no it's a bit of a tight squeeze to get you <laughs> are you crushing your finger? a little bit <laughs> Perfect! Adult jigsaw this is. <laughs> Couldn't fit much more in could we? No, I really don't think we could.
a very successful trip to Ikea always a pleasure kind of but <laughs> now we have about two and a half three hour drive depending on what happens and how many times we need to stop for a toilet break and then tomorrow we've got a few things we can get on with in the barn actually quite time consuming just loading it from the trolley into the car in Ikea so I'm not sure how long it's going to take us to actually get it all into the barn and organized into the different sections so when we decide to tackle it we can. That really heavy thing is the kitchen corner cabinet and I can't yeah, go Yeah, I thought it was the corner. I can't go over how heavy that was. This one you can carry. This one's also pretty quick and heavy than I was bad. Here it is. It's kind of funny how small it looks in the barn compared to how massive it all looked inside the car because it did take up the whole car but this is our kitchen except for the work top because <laughs> we couldn't find one we liked yesterday but i am a little bit terrified at all of the individual parts i mean obviously this is a lampshade that's not to do with the actual kitchen but all of these boxes all of these all of these all of those there's just so many pieces and i just know it's gonna be a challenge. Are you up for the challenge? I'm actually really tired, so I'm just having a, a quick power lounge. That's power what I'm lounge. gonna call it. Just a power lounge on the chaise long, admiring where the kitchen's gonna go. Mm. Oh, let me show you, because we didn't just buy a kitchen yesterday. I wanna show you something else that I got. It's been a really, really long time since you got a new tool, hasn't it? Check it out. My Bosch saw, which is going to come in very handy for cutting things like birds' mouths. It's going to be good for cutting the work surfaces because obviously we don't have a tool that we can actually cut them on. But yeah, I'm super stoked to get this fired up. But yeah, should be good. Should be perfect for what we need. And like B says, it's been a while. So I deserve a new happy birthday, dear. a new tool. It's not my birthday for well, this is your a really long, long time. <laughs> And something we actually, well, there's two things we got yesterday that I am very happy about. Other than the kitchen, which is exciting, we finally managed to find the rug that we wanted, a nice big rug for the living room area to make it feel a bit cozier. Because whilst the wooden floor is obviously cozy, a yeah. rug just adds even <laughs> more coziness. I can't wait so, to open it and get yes, it in place. Get it out, go on. So we've got the nice rug, but we've also bought, we finally found a lamp a lamp to go under the mezzanine that I had it in my mind this yeah, idea that side? I don't know we need to put it up and see I think it probably in my head it's gonna kind of come out from that corner and come out into the middle of the mezzanine but that might not work like that so it might have to go from that side and oh this is hard that side and there we go <laughs> that side are coming. anyway we need to assemble it because it's from Ikea, so let's go. It looks way bigger in the shop. 
Do you reckon we did the right size? Yeah, it yeah. pulls out, doesn't it? It'll be kind of the width of it won't be that wide. It'll be that wide. It's still pretty big. Yeah. When it's all rolled out, it'll be massive. Yeah, it's going to be going here. Oh, the mattress might be in the way a little bit, actually. It's weighty. Is it? Make sure it's the right way up. The cats are going to love this. Oh, Fernando's going to love that. Oh, that's pretty big. Perfect. Okay, what we'll do is I'll lift up the front legs. Or we might have to actually just both lift it up and then slide yeah. it with our foot. Yeah. Put it on the rug. And then we're going to have to lift these legs up. The rug is in place, I'm very happy with it. And when the stairs are there, this will feel like a right secluded area. Theo's already on it, getting the lamp out. I'm intrigued. It's getting the lamp out. The lamp's basically the size of the whole building. It's so. massive, it is massive. I mean, you can see it there, but in the actual shop, it kind of went way further out. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm thinking I'd like it to come out across here but it might end up coming out across there, so we shall see. Do you want me to do it? Because now I'm the king with this. I'm not even reading the instructions. Oh, that's always a bad move, honestly. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> right, so, <clears throat> the first thing to do before you assemble those bits together is screw the pole but into the bottom. It's the moment of truth. We're gonna turn the light on. We've just put the bulb in and we got this nice... Can we just take a second to appreciate how shade. wonderful it looks? It does look wonderful. It goes so nicely with the style of the decor that we're it's going for. It's basically acting as like the big light that you have coming down from the ceiling in a normal room. Exactly. And to be honest, like one of the reasons we didn't have hanging lights, uh, especially from the main bit of the barn, is because the barn ceiling is so high <laughs> they'd have to be they'd have to be on some massive long kind of super long ropes ropes and it would just look a bit weird i think and also you, maybe you need some really powerful lights this is a two watt bulb <laughs> which is very en energy saving but yeah here goes i think it's around there hang on have you turned the jackery on So nice, lovely and warm. And just arrived for the turning on ceremony. <laughs> if, if I turn this off, you'll be able to see it more. Come on, the suspense is killing me. Oh, it looks so nice. How lovely so is that? Good. And the light it rebounds is, hang on, wait. off. It's five o'clock in the evening, so just to put the time into perspective. Yeah, it's getting dark, down. the light's going down. And look at the light reflecting off the mezzanine. It looks the amazing. beams. It makes it feel so warm and cosy. And I think we should definitely have like another little lamp here. Yeah, with the same kind of bulb. So we've got like a nice glow there, a glow there, and then obviously in the other parts of the house as well. <laughs> so good. It's coming together. It really is coming together. I am so happy with how everything's coming together. It really is starting to feel like a fully fledged home. 
we've got so much exciting stuff to come over the next few weeks make sure you tune in have notifications turned on and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching